Yeah, I confess, Father, I confess. Cause I've been living wrong. This is your brother Fatboy Fish And I gotta give God his glory I gotta give him his praise Because he is worthy He is worthy of all humans down on this earth Every man and every woman Praising him for who he is What he does And what he believes in And what his will So all glory given to God Because he is a great God He is a mighty God He is a just God He is a holy God Hallelujah, amen Now, I would like to take this time To thank all my brothers and all my sisters that's out there that's actually subscribed to your boy channel I would like to thank y'all because y'all make this work doing Y'all really do, y'all make this work doing because y'all actually take out the time to listen to me Our little topics that we talk about on the show, you, you actually listen to me So I would like to thank you from the bottom of my heart because Excuse me, like I said earlier, y'all make this worth it Y'all really do Because people like me you know we live rough lives, you know what I'm saying? I didn't seen it all. Name something I ain't seen. Name something I ain't been through. Name something that I have not experienced personally. Name something. Can't even name it, you know what I'm saying? You can't even name it if you only knew the life that I have lived. But it is a blessed life because God has allowed me to be here. I can't, family, to be honest with you, I can't sit up here and fake a front and act like God ain't rescued me, act like he didn't save me, act like he did not rescue this life. Without him, I don't even, out of all the times I, I could have had died or he, whatever happened in that day was leading to my death. And he came in and swooped in and saved your boy. So all glory given to God because he is worth it. He is worth it. I can't, I can't even imagine how many times, okay, you got the times that you know you know he came in your life and he saved you. You know those times. But it's been so many other times that you couldn't even count. Because I definitely can't. I'm not going to sit here and lie fake and front. Now, I ask that you bear it through me because you know how your boy is. I'm going to read a little bit and then I'm going to be gone. After all these years, you see nothing change. And the love that they once had for you is gone. And you think just maybe... Just maybe if I wait just a little bit longer, then they'll love me again. But now I see hatred in their eyes and them putting you down and lying on you only makes them feel good about themselves. This is just the beginning of a downward spiral of hate because now they putting their hands on you. When is it enough enough? You see that they don't love you. probably nor did they ever did love you and the love that you have inside of your heart it only grows colder and colder you put up with this when you know you're worth greater than this and this and then this world is filled with people that can only show you genuine love and prove themselves to you so why do you take this abuse from things that is more things that are more like the devil than a mate you know that you are worth more than they can provide or give someone out there that really needs you that really will love you and fight for you you let them go to the, the wayward side and you still stick with this person that is known for abusing you, putting their hands on you, screaming at you, degrading you, just to make them feel, themselves feel better again. So I say to you in this day, you don't have to settle for this person because they are not worth your time, your love, or your effort. So why put up with this person when you know that they can only bring you down? So. You got a lot of brothers and you got a lot of sisters and then all these abusive relationships with these men and women that only put them down, only only cause them to feel pain and agony in their heart and they see nothing will change. But they constantly put themselves around this person that is known for putting their hands on you. So all my sisters and my brothers out there, you don't have to put up with this nonsense of being with a person that does not deserve you. You are worth way more than that in life. 
You deserve so much more better than that person can ever provide for you. Now, when you started that relationship, you seen at one point in your relationship, it was full of love, but now all you see is misery. So I ask you in this day, why do you put up with a person that only abuse you, misuses you, lies to you, and hits you? Do you know that you are worth way more than that? And there is someone out here in this world that deserves you way more than they do. Now, if you continue to go on this course that, you, that you're following for yourself, it only leads to three bad outcomes. And each of these outcomes you do not, you do not need. And the more time that you waste in your life, you can never get that time back again. So you sit up here, these 10, 15 years, you live miserable with this person that so-called said that they love you, but you found out who they really were. So my question for today is why waste any more of your time with this person that does not deserve you? Because if they needed you, they would be doing everything in their life to keep you happy, keep you satisfied, keep you in love. It takes two. It, it really does. It takes two. Not one person can keep a relationship going. And if you have one person in that relationship and you holding it down and you trying to keep it going, why are you doing this? Why are you? To me, you not only are you being abused, but you abusing your own self. Do you like to be treated in this way? Do you think that it's not another person out there that wouldn't treat you better? So you have to take it upon yourself, brothers and sisters. And there's a lot of my brothers out there that are being abused. And you'd be like, oh, no, nah, you lying. Ain't no man going to go settle for that. But no, nah, I know the heart of man. And I, I've seen a lot of different situations and different people. And I know how people are. So, yeah, there's a lot of my brothers out there that's taking a lot of BS and physical abuse from these women. You, you need to fall back. You need to start looking for something new. And I don't care that you got rings on your finger that means nothing you are being abused i don't care that you got two babies and you think that it's better for you to stay in this relationship for the baby no you got to think about yourself because as you see in this relationship it only get worse and worse and badder and badder and you look at it as at this point you are only wasting your time because you will never be able to get that time back again so who is more important in this situation your sanity and your self-worth or giving it to somebody that treats you like a demon this has been your brother fat boy fish peace and blessings to my people out there in the world uh, yeah i confess father i confess because i've been living wrong What's good to all my brothers and sisters out there in the world? It's your brother Fatboy Fish, and we back for our last topic for today. So I would like to read a little bit, and then I'm going to go into further detail. But whatever is said, it might not be for you. But if you can relay this to someone that you know that it can help them, it will be a blessing. So all I can ask is that you listen and take to heart some of the things that I talk about in this brief little time that your boy fat spends with you. How much evil do you have in your heart to turn your own child against the one who brought them to this world? Now you got parents out there and they so damn evil that they don't like the other the other spouse or the ex-boyfriend or the ex-husband so instead of taking their hatred the only way they really can manifest their own hatred and to make that person feel pain is through the child so i ask why are you using your child to get back at somebody you got to be a real evil ass person to use your child against the the other the kids father or mother you got to be a sad pathetic person that has no heart at all to use your child like a piece in a puzzle or a piece on a chessboard they are not a, a checker they not a piece on a damn chessboard to be used and man manipulated to fit your purpose to make you feel good about yourself you should not use your children against they they parent that is the evilest, down lowest deal that anybody can ever do. 
Okay. How selfish are you to where you would take away from your child their own flesh and blood? Now, some people in this world are so evil to where they don't want to see their child with their parent. They, they go over and above just to show that other person their authority on their child and they won't let them see them. So when they birthday come up and they be crying out, oh mama, mama, where's my daddy? Or oh, flip it to be a little girl, oh mama, mama, where's my daddy? And that one parent got all that hatred in their heart to where they would separate their own kids from seeing their parents. That is an evil person. It's low down and dirty. It's, it's damn right despicable. You can't get no lower than that. So if you one of these parents and you using your kids as a damn chessboard piece or a checker piece, you need to stop. Because not only are you hurting your child, you hurting that parent too. Where is your heart at? Where is the love at? How sick are you to keep apart away from seeing their child and, and, and say all these negative, mean, hateful things about your own seed? So you got these parents, they sit up in their houses and they talk all this smack about their ex-wife or ex-husband, a boyfriend, a girlfriend, but there's kids in the mix. So these little children, they listen to their mama or their daddy talk smack on their mama or their daddy and it makes the child don't even have respect for their parent. They really don't. They sit up and they listen to their mama talk smack on their daddy all day long. What respect is you going to get out your child? Or vice versa. Some men pull the same bullshit too. They sit up there. They have the, the majority joint custody. So the children see them all the time. They sit up in their house. And they, and they spew all this hatred inside the ears of these children's mind. To turn their back on their own parent. You can't get no more evil. You can't, you can't get no more slanderous than that. So... If you a type of person like that and you, you using and doing your children like that, you need to stop because you are hurting your child. This is a form of abuse right here. You are abusing your child by the things that you do in the relationship. You should not be at your house talking smack on that person like that. Now, if they got, if they got reasons to why you could say them things, it still wouldn't be good to say those things around your kids. You should not be feeding them all these negative images of their parent. That is pure evil. So what happens when they grow up and find out the truth? So you spent, you spent a majority of that child's life feeding them with all this information about how scandalous their mama is or how scandly they daddy is how dead beat the daddy is how scandalous and all the things that he did then the child reaches an age to where they can actually comprehend what has been done what has been said and why so you put yourself in that own pandora's box you really did because you fed your child all that hatred and then they became a woman they became a man and they they see the truth now so how is your relationship going to be with your child since you got all that damn hatred in your heart trying to push people away? What do you do when they find... What do you do when they turn their back on you when you need them the most? So you tell me, is it worth it? All those years, all that broken time that was spent and all the hatred that was given now your child has grown up to be a man or a woman and they see you for what you really are so not only did you try to destroy one life you ended up destroying two so you must remind your own self that everything that is done always come back good or bad so now in the process of you doing the things that you did to your own child, they see you for what you really are now. For all those years that you spent putting inside of their head, that made them grow up and hate you now. It's one thing that it stays true in this world and nothing will ever change this. You reap what you sow. 
So you spend all that time feeding your child with all that information, all that hatred. Now they done grown up and they see daddy for who he is. They see mama for who she really is. And they don't want nothing to do with your ass. They don't want nothing to do with your ass. And it's all because of what you did. So if anybody is a guilty party, it's you. Because you caused these chains of event to happen. You could have had just raised your child and tried to show them the most possible most positive life as you possibly can but you couldn't help yourself by throwing in all that heat that hatred so by them turning their back on you that's you reaping what you sow man this has been your brother fat boy fish with our topic for today peace and blessings to my people out there in the world